Okay, because I'm such a dork, I'm still playing with snap circuits. And this is another little project that I made by myself. There's nothing really um, amazing about it except that it works. Basically, I have, and I might use the wrong terminology because I'm not well versed in electronics at this point, um, at its core. At any rate, we got two your, your batteries here. Obviously, that supplies our power. Um, I've got two switches, and each of these switches, I wanted to control um, a mechanism of some sort. So I chose a lamp for this switch and an LED light for this switch. And I wanted them to work regardless um, of whether either switch was on, or I should say either circuit was closed to where the, the uh, current could run through it. And I actually managed to be successful in creating this uh, without having to use the guide. I think I've done enough projects now to where I'm learning enough about it. So you want to see this amazing project, uh, here we go. I'm going to do this one first. Woo-wee, look at that LED light up. That's great. Oh, wow. It's a little lamp. Oh, guess what? We can do them at the same time. Doesn't matter if either is on. I can do them simultaneously or separately because the current is running from here through here for this one and then back here. And then for this one, it's running through here and back to here. And so I guess that would be considered parallel circuitry. I could be wrong about that. Feel free to correct me. So my proud moment, one of many, I hope. Okay, the last project I did, um, was what I consider to be parallel circuitry. Um, and now I have decided that uh, I wanted to use the switches um, in series. And basically, I'm gonna try to describe this as technically as I can. But again, we got the batteries which supply the power. The current starts here. It's gonna go to here. Since this switch is off, it's, um, I call it open. And when you turn it on, that closes it. But nothing's happening yet because I have another switch in the series and it is open. So the current is now stopping here. But when I turn this on, this little motor spins. Now, again, if the current stops here, there's no way for this one to cause anything to happen because there's no power getting to it. So it requires both switches to be on. But one of the really neat things about this is I get to use a little fan blade and it's gonna launch in a second. That's really neat. Here we go. Well, it's supposed to launch. Maybe I have this thing in backwards. Hold on. Yep, 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 yep. We'll get this figured out. Momentarily. Sorry, a little technical difficulties on my part. Please stand by. All right, this, this way should do it. Depending on the positive and negative determines the direction of the motor or the spin. Here we go. This should work. Woohoo! Where did it go? Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Let me try it again. I try to follow it. Ah, ah well, you get the idea. Not the best video recorder, but anyway, another proud moment. Woo! All right, at this point, I guess you probably realize I like using both of these switches. Um, this time, I decided that I wanted either switch to light the lamp. 
And I like using the switches because it gives me an idea of how the current flows and and how open versus closed um, makes things work or doesn't. So here we go. I just wanted either switch to make this lamp light. So this one works or this one works. And it makes no difference if I hit that one because it's the current right now is running through here. If this is off, the current runs through here. If this one's on and I hit this, it really doesn't matter because it's everything's closed, so it's still going to make it to the light. I imagine it takes the path of least resistance through this switch, but I could be wrong about that. really have no earthly idea, but I like doing uh, dual switches um, in different ways to see what types of projects I can create and what types of control I have over lights and LEDs and fans because Snap Circuits is fun to play with and I've been playing with it, obviously. So yet another proud moment in the history of Snap Circuits. By the way, can't top the copper top. Oh, and thanks for watching.